Hi everybody, Keith Mayer from Microsoft here at Tekka North America 2012. I'm here in the Intel booth with uh, Thane from Intel. Thane, what are you showing people today at Tekka? Today I'm showing Ultrabooks, and I'm also showing third generation core products. Wow, can I, see, can I see some of that? Yes, you can. And one of the things we want to tell you is what Ultrabook is, and one of the things Ultrabook isn't. For instance, we have the new Sony T-Series here. We're on their website, and you can purchase this Sony T-Series Ultrabook for $769. Wow. And so one of the things Ultrabook isn't is it doesn't have to be expensive. Ah, okay, gotcha. And for $769, what type of hardware? Uh, you get a third generation Core i5. You get the new processor platform that supports uh, rapid start and smart response. And Sony has implemented a very nice third generation Ultrabook. And you can tell it's an Ultrabook because it has this sticker on it. Ah, okay. And we can tell you what Ultrabook means as far as what the requirements are. So for $769, somebody can get a machine that can do real business work? Real business work. Wow. And speaking of business, this Sony also has full-size connectors. So I'm sure at Microsoft, one or two projectors still take VGA. <laughs> yep. And uh, some might have HDMI. Yeah. And you might even have an Ethernet right. requirement. Oh, that's awesome. No dongles required. No dongles required. So you had mentioned Rapid Start. What's Rapid Start? Rapid Start technology is the ability to um, hibernate the system and resume from hibernate in less than seven seconds. Seven seconds. So let's take a look at our Dell XPS. Okay. We're going to put this system to sleep. Now it's still in Windows. It's Windows 7. And it's playing a video. And we're going to transition from sleep state, or S3, to S4, or hibernate, automatically, because the Rapid Start is configured to do that. It could be configured to do it after two hours or four hours, but in this case, it's set to go directly into hibernate. Thanks. And then we've enabled it to wake up from hibernate in less than seven seconds. Wow. So let's take a look at that. Back to the video, back to play. It was like six seconds. Actually. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> less than seven seconds. We usually have a few overachievers. Right. <laughs> that's awesome. So that's using an SSD. Intel doesn't require that you use SSD. We just require that whatever storage solution you use meets the seven second um, or less requirement. And, and for the Ultrabook, uh, for Ultrabook compatible machines, what the battery life? Ultrabooks are required to have five hours minimum. We recommend about eight. Wow. And uh, you're going to see as more third generation platforms uh, come to market that uh, the ability to get up to eight hours of battery life is, is not so hard. Okay. HP is shipping their folio and they're claiming nine hours of battery life with the folio. Wow. So you can do a full day of business, powerful machines, under a thousand dollars, and not have to plug in. Yes. It's amazing. Wow. There's one other feature that's really important with Ultrabook. If you have something this desirable, this thing in life, you wouldn't want to lose it. Right, yeah. So we have a requirement that all Ultrabooks support hardware and IP. Okay. What it works is, is you have the ability to associate your machine with a service that provides uh, uh, managing your assets. So PC theft defense or absolute uh, low jack. There's a variety of services that offer an IP. Okay. Current solutions today can be defeated by disabling BIOS or removing the hard drive. What Ultrabooks require is the OEM enable it in the hard drive. We've provided ways for them to block the chipset. So this Lenovo has been reported missing, and the chipset's currently locked. And you could delete the BIOS, you could pull the hard drive. There's no way to get this chipset to wake up without typing in the password. Yes, correct. And one of the things that we've seen with this is we've created a very nice logo, the Intel Anti-Theft logo, which once people get familiar with this, they'll realize that they may be able to use it for a few minutes, but eventually it's going to be turned off. Right. Why bother? Why bother? Right. Right. Well, that's awesome. That's really impressive uh, with the new Intel Ultrabooks and uh, the OEMs that are coming out with new Ultrabook uh, compatible machines. I'm sure that as uh, Windows 8 ships, we'll see lots more during the Windows 8 release. Lane, thanks so much. It's been You're very awesome. welcome. I just wanted to show the new Series 9. This is actually my uh, corporate Ultrabook. Wow. And uh, how, that, how thick is that? <laughs> wow. So one of the nice things about uh, defining the Ultrabook spec is we didn't define how it has to look. So there's no Henry Ford model here. It's not, not all black. You can see that there are all variety of styles. But when you see the Ultrabook sticker, you know you're getting the quality, you know you're getting the fitness, the long battery life, and being able to protect your asset, and most important is the responsiveness. Yeah, 
Oh, that's great. Thanks well, for your time, Keith. Th thanks so much. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, everybody. Keith Ware signing off from Tech Ed North America 2012. Have a great rest of your week here.